What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the Looney Tunes transition. This is something that I used when editing Ross Creations music video and it's a really easy transition to apply. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Before I do, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on. So I've got a clean timeline. I am all set to go. I'm going to be transitioning between these two clips. What I want to do is take the second clip here, bring this up to the second level and bring it over. Usually we want about a 20 frame spillover. Now I know this is 20 frames, so I'm going to leave it as is. With this top layer selected, go over here to your opacity and grab the ellipse mask. This is going to create a nice ellipse mask between your two pieces of footage. Go ahead and turn on your safe margins because you'll have to drag this top one right up here to the title safe and the bottom square you're going to drag to the bottom title safe. And then we're just going to kind of even out this circle. We don't have to drag this all the way out, but just make sure that those two points are in the middle and that looks good. Now I'm going to feather this out to about 80 because I feel like that for me gives the best look that I want. Then we're going to set a keyframe at the beginning here, mask expansion, and usually this one works at negative 450 and that'll take it away. And then we go to the end of where we want the transition to stop, set another keyframe, and this one should go about 750. So that's as simple as this transition is. However, there is one more way that you can do it. And just for full disclosure, go to your effects panel and type in iris and you'll find iris round. Now you could also use this one. However, I don't feel like it's gonna give you as good of an effect. It's the same thing basically. You don't have to keyframe, but the problem is you're not gonna be able to really feather this out that I've seen. You have a little bit more control over it the other way that I showed you how to do it. So if you wanna customize and make it look a little bit cleaner than this, then you'll want to do it the original way with masking but it doesn't take long either way so i hope this video did help you if it did make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on i've been austin newman you can find my work on instagram at austin makes films and until next time guys we'll see you later <laughs>